And just like that, we have DLSS running in an AMD sponsor title, Starfield. I mean, just like a day after Starfield launched, modders already got DLSS running in it. I guess it was just that easy. Bethesda or AMD, whoever it was, blocked it or just didn't want to put it in the game. And today we're going to find out if that's something they should regret. And we're going to look cool while we're doing it with PowerColor Red Devil 7900 series beefy graphics cards can look even cooler with custom backplates. With the awesome looking generative and intrusive backplates, you can customize your GPU to your heart's content. And it's never been so gosh darn easy. These things have magnets on them. These backplates are available at any of your favorite shops. And if you're interested, go ahead and check the link in the description, along with other products on PowerColor's website, like this mouse pad that looks really cool. Huge thanks to PowerColor for sponsoring this video. Let's just hop right in. So on the left is the native not upscaled image, whereas on the right is FSR2, the only upscaler included into Starfield. Clearly FSR has some issues, especially with stability. So just looking at the railings in this front section here, in the distance they look shimmery and jagged or aliased or whatever word you want to call it. Also the awnings are quite jagged and aliased in this first section. So let's see if DLSS can improve on these things. DLSS on the right, FSR is in the middle and on the left, just for reference, is still the native image without upscaling applied. This is all at 1440p, 50% resolution scaling, otherwise known as the performance setting for all of these upscalers. Now I am aware this is very aggressive upscaling, but this is trying to show the visual differences and how each upscaler breaks down. And speaking of it, you might've noticed that DLSS is looking quite different compared to FSR. DLSS looks significantly more stable, especially with the railings in the distance, not nearly as jagged or aliased as an FSR. Another issue that plagues FSR is ghosting. As you can see, when I walk by this lady on the left side, there's like a faded trail of her moving between the frames. And yes, this is still on DLSS, but in, at least in my opinion, this might be subjective. It does not look nearly as dramatic as it does on FSR. This issue also comes up when switching weapons. When you swap, it's almost like there is a faint ghosted image that is just left behind on FSR, but it doesn't seem nearly as dramatic on DLSS. We can also see more ghosting in these light posts near this building. The end effect that ghosting will have on your image is it will make your game look smeary or blurry in general. So the less ghosting we can have, the better. One more issue I am seeing more pronounced on FSR is when I'm walking around with my gun, you can see a haloing effect. It's like the pixels around it are just a little bit more blurry than normal, which is a typical issue when upscaling in general, as the upscalers are trying to reconstruct and basically imagine what the pixels are looking like behind moving objects. But again, I'm not seeing this as pronounced on DLSS compared to FSR. The laser of my gun as well seems to disappear a little bit more on FSR, whereas more of it is reconstructed with DLSS. I wouldn't say it's perfect by any means, but a little bit more of it is there. But it's not all downsides for FSR in Starfield because it does have one main advantage over DLSS, and it seems to be, in general, FSR is sharper than DLSS. And that might be causing some of the aliasing because when you sharpen pixels, it's going to make crisper edges and that might lead to more pixelation. But if you look at my gun when I'm aiming, it does look a little bit sharper on FSR compared to DLSS. And Sarah in this section just standing so it looks sharper on FSR compared to DLSS. One really distracting problem that all upscalers run into with this game is like this weird black boxy thing on this building. Again, DLSS handles it better, but it's still there in FSR and it's even there in the native one. So I have a feeling that at some point in the future that this might get patched, but I can't really be sure of it. I know a lot of you guys are curious with that 50% resolution scale. Well, if we up the resolution scaling to say like 66%, which is equivalent to like quality settings in a lot of other games, with that, does the difference between FSR and DLSS, does that gap close? Okay, FSR still has the same issues compared to DLSS. They just aren't as noticeable when you up the render resolution. As you can see in the distance with these railings, just like how on performance settings, they also are quite aliased, quite shimmery, and not as stable as on DLSS. 
there's still ghosting. It just isn't as pronounced on either of them anymore, but DLSS is still king in this regard. And in terms of FPS performance in Starfield between FSR and DLSS, I tried my best to not be CPU limited in this game. Even with a 5800X 3D CPU, you can still get limited. FSR and DLSS performed about the same. So it's kind of just like, well, if you can use DLSS, you might as well just use it because one, it visually mostly looks better than FSR and two, you get about the same FPS if you have a compatible RTX GPU. Also, out of curiosity, I did test Intel's XCSS upscaling, which generally speaking looks better than FSR in a lot of other games, but I don't know if I just had a bad DLL XCSS file. Straight up looked unusable here. There is a distracting amount of like almost like checkerboarding patterns just walking around the map. I think XCSS here compared way more closely to the unintelligent Fidelity FX CAS spatial upscaler that is included stock into Starfield. And I'm just saying that's not a very good thing. Spatial upscalers do not look nearly as good as the more temporal intelligent upscalers like FSR2 or DLSS. So at least in my case, XCSS looked really bad in Starfield and not to mention that it actually also performed worse than the other upscalers. So there's literally no reason to use it. Something probably is going wrong here. And if you guys know what actually happened, then let me know in the comments below. But let's get back to the whole DLSS part. Though DLSS does beat out FSR in terms of visuals with this mod in Starfield, part of me also wonders if DLSS could also look even better if it was integrated directly into the game. Because when you do think about it, DLSS obviously stands for deep learning super sampling. And deep learning is part of that. If it could be trained on the game itself that it's trying to upscale, you would think that it would give better visual fidelity with that. But because it isn't integrated directly into the game and this is just a mod, it's kind of just working off of the knowledge of every other game that's out there, but not specifically on Starfield. And I really do have to say that in my personal opinion, FSR does still look very good in Starfield and way better than it does in a lot of other games that have even released recently. Say like Remnant 2, I don't think FSR looked all that good in that game. Along with Last of Us Part 1, I don't think it looked that good in that game either. But you know, that's kind of all up to personal preference and everything. But given what we showed here today, I think FSR does put up a good fight towards DLSS. But with how little dev time it took someone to mod in DLSS to Starfield and how much of a dramatic increase in visual fidelity over FSR that it has. And the fact that every graphical preset in Starfield includes upscaling in it really makes you wonder why Bethesda didn't want everybody to just have the best level of upscaler that they could for their graphics card. And why didn't they include DLSS in the first place? It feels like something weird or nefarious is going on here. And AMD did follow up and say that they are not blocking Bethesda from putting DLSS in their game. But is this kind of just like PR speak after how poorly they handled the situation at the beginning? Or if this isn't how it happened, it doesn't really make the situation any better. Because does that mean that Bethesda doesn't really care about the PC version of the game and instead are fully prioritizing the console versions of Starfield on Xbox Series consoles with FSR being the only thing that the consoles can use anyways, whereas DLSS can only be found on PC. And when we already saw that they didn't give PC players an FOV, a field of view slider, because typically that's a feature you get on PC because it makes the experience so much more smooth. And you guys probably saw my gameplay in this video and saw that the FOV was a little bit wider. And that's actually because I modded in more field of view on Starfield anyways, because it feels so much better to have it. As well, on the console version of Starfield, there is high dynamic range support, so HDR support for your TVs. But on PC, we don't have HDR support in the game. It's already on the console version, but we don't 
have it on PC. I don't understand. It makes you wonder if Bethesda is doing this on purpose because they know that PC players are just going to mod the game and fix all the things that they didn't do. And that makes less work for Bethesda as a whole. Anyways, though, this whole situation is a huge mess or whatever. And I just wanted to say that I actually have been having a lot of fun playing Starfield. It's a good game, seriously. And whatever the weird graphical problems are going on behind the scenes, sucks that they come to light genuinely i do think it is a good game and you might want to give it a shot in general and if you want to try out the dlss mod if you have a compatible rtx gpu i linked the mod and a tutorial of how to install the mod in the description of this video if you want to check that out i'm not liable if you mess up your computer or anything like that okay be careful guys watch yourself check yourself all that good stuff and just know that a different version of the mod or something might come out in the future that's actually better and let me know what you think on this whole situation how dlss compared to fsr dlss even without being trained in the game if that is how it works still holds up really well in starfield just being modded into the game dlss 3.5 that's all i've got for you guys so hopefully you have a good one i'll see you in the next video and peace